Time now for Talking Campus, our weekly discussion with members of the College Fix editorial team. Today, doing something a little bit different, we're going to continue our conversation with Nathan Rubelke, who is a staff reporter at The Fix, but also was the very first, the inaugural College Fix Fellowship holder. Nathan, tell, tell the audience a little bit. What is the College Fix Fellowship? Sure. So for the past year, I've had the awesome opportunity to serve as a staff reporter for the College Fix on a fellowship basis. And a lot of what I do is, uh, you know, I write a lot of articles, of course, uh, with, with a focus on investigative and feature reporting. Uh, but I've also had a lot of other cool experiences. I've taken part in a fellowship with uh, the Charles Koch Institute, which has put me in touch with tons of other young, uh, energetic reporters. And I've gotten the chance to take courses with great journalists through that fellowship program. And I've also had the chance to uh, travel and really report on some interesting and exciting stories as a result of this fellowship. And, and of course, I've gotten to work with great editors, uh, which, is, which is just an awesome thing to do, and especially to be a young reporter and working with highly talented editors and reporters is, is really a treat. So the College Fix Fellowship has allowed you to really network with other fellowships and opportunities. Uh, so it's kind of a, 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 something that builds on itself. Yeah, it really has been. It's, it's provided a, a chance to, to meet a lot of uh, great reporters and a lot of the other young people who I can possibly collaborate with down the road in this, in this career. What kind of uh, benefits do you get as a fellow for the College Fix? What, what opportunities do you have that you otherwise might not have had? Sure. Uh, you know, I really think there's like three big uh, opportunities I've had. Uh, one is the chance to travel and, and tell great, important stories. You know, the journalism I've gotten to do is, is meaningful and is consequential. Uh, and, and, and the travel component really uh, spreads out the fix's reach and, and the audience it can reach and, and the stories it can tell. Uh, secondly, the, the, the opportunity to network with other journalists and, 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 and learn from other journalists and, and, and really grow as a writer. And lastly, uh, the, the chance to work with the editors I, I've been working with for the past year. Uh, they've really helped me grow as a writer and a reporter. And, and I think we've really done great journalism together. And it's all because of their help. And one of your stories recently was picked up by the Drudge Report, uh, a huge, huge audience. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. Yeah, I've been, I've been lucky, really lucky uh, in this fellowship to be picked up by Drudge uh, over a handful of times. And, that, and that's really just great for the exposure of, of our work. Uh, but this most recent article was about a whiteness in decline event at Columbia College in Chicago. Uh, it's part of a lecture series on Trump, uh, of course, because uh, uh, universities love talking Trump right now. Uh, but this this event uh, was about you know how whiteness in decline. This professor is going to link that to what she she dubs as a, a resurgence in white supremacy. You have done uh, these the, besides these stories that are getting tremendous out, outreach. The things that you're being able to accomplish. You mentioned a number of times working with the editors. I know they've got a fantastic team here at the College Fix. Uh, they do great work. Talk a little bit specifically about how a young journalist like yourself uh, is trying to sort of cut his teeth in the field. How do you, the 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 editors work hands on with you to help make you a better journalist? Sure, I, I think the keyword right there you mentioned was, was hands on. I mean, I think in today's journalism industry. You know, there's such a, a, I guess, a trend to just get content out there, get it out as quick as you can. You know, quality kind of diminishes. You have to fix. You know, my editors take serious time to go over my, my, my copy, my, my articles I turn in for editing. Uh, they provide suggestions. They make them better. Uh, they push me to tell, you know, push me on different ways to tell the stories, different questions I should have asked the source or, or you know, questions to, to follow up on. Uh, and so I think the best part of this fellowship is that you get, the, you, you get people who are going to take the time to work with you. Uh, and, and, and in this industry right now, that's a really valuable asset to have. And it's really crucial to the success of my career, I think. Yeah. And your fellowship ran for the past year, a calendar year. For students, uh, young journalist students who are watching us, what advice would you give them, first of all, about how to apply for the College Fix Fellowship? Uh, what kind of things do you think the editors are looking for for the next uh, fellow? And what advice would you give uh, any young student as they begin uh, uh, the process of becoming a journalist, whether they have a fellowship or not? Sure. I, I think the first thing, and I like to say, if you want to you know, become a College Fix Fellow, I think the best uh, way to initially go about that is become a student reporter for the College Fix. We're always looking for new, talented, young journalists to, to join our team. Uh, and, and if you do great work, you'll, you'll catch the eye of, of our editors and, and be a potential candidate for our fellowship. Uh, secondly, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open for stories on your campuses and nearby campuses and campuses across, all across the country. 
there's stories out there and 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 we're always looking for people to tell them and, and, and as, as you mentioned they're, they're getting linked on drudge they're getting linked on other websites uh, so there's quite an audience that, that wants to read these stories and, and lastly for for any young journalist uh keep reporting keep writing and and always try to get better i mean that's what i've always been taught and it's it's simple advice but it but it goes a long way yeah, it makes a real difference. And I like what you just said. To be a reporter really requires a lot of imagination and creativity, right? A sharp eye, a willingness to see events unfold, and an opportunistic ability to, to get in front of a story right when it's breaking. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, I know from personal experience. Uh, when, I, when I started writing for The Fix, I went to St. Louis University. This was 2014. I was a junior on campus. This was the same year as Ferguson. Uh, and my campus was located a dozen miles from Ferguson. We had protests on campus. Uh, There's a fallout of the protests, of demands, et cetera. I covered that, and that's how I, I cut my teeth, writing for The Fix, and it was a great experience. Well, and as a culmination of your great work as a reporter and the support that you have from the College Fix Fellowship, you just received your first job, right, your first professional job. That's the St. Louis Business Journal. Talk briefly about that. Sure, I'm really excited about this opportunity. I'll, I'll be writing for the St. Louis Business Journal, which is which is in my hometown, which is just an awesome opportunity. But I'll be covering uh, commercial real estate and and sports and business. Uh, so those are pretty pretty heavy topics. But I but I think I'll be greatly set up for the job because I've had uh, the past year of covering uh, complex articles, complex topics, uh, big issues. So so I'm feeling pretty confident because of my time at the Fix. Be sure to stay up on all the latest news and information from the College Fix editors by joining us on all of our social media platforms. Nathan Rubelke, staff reporter at the College Fix and inaugural College Fix fellowship holder. Thanks again for your time today.